been a while since I made a video in front of my laptop. That's what I'm doing, even though I never put my laptop on my lap. My notebook computer. Yeah. Hey, look, it's a pickup. This is my new, what does that say? Nothing important, I hope. Anyway, this is my new iPhone uh, thing. Um, screen guard it cost me $2 at the dollar store. But it was really, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that was cool. It's okay, but that's all right. It's okay, but that's all right. I am so good at speaking English. Also, I'm really good at getting a haircut, but I don't have time to do it. And looking at the camera, I'm also good at that. <clears throat> Let me introduce you to the background. Here we have, what is this? That's a, where's my, oh, that's weird. Okay, globe. Uh, thing that we use in our Japanese wedding to decorations on the table. Just, we have it. This is for sucking snot out of baby's nose when baby can't blow baby's nose. It just, ah, it's crazy. Uh, Legos, but they're like falling because the tape that my wife used is weak. Uh, Olaf, he blows bubbles. That's, uh, I can't find my finger. <laughs> Whoa, that's so weird. I haven't ever gotten used to this. I can't. That's a Kleenex box. That's a thing that came from the daycare that my daughter helped make. That's a paper towel. Oh, oh, oh wow. Paper towel holder. That's a Snoopy, like, I guess we're going to put tea in that. Those are biscuits that I made yesterday. And instead of saying, oh, thanks for making biscuits, well, I was like, oh, I like them sweeter. This is my life. And this is uh, three avocados because I'm going to make some guacamole and some chimichangas. Or, as they say in Napoleon, dynamite chimichangas. You know, some chimichangas. And that's a whoop. I can't even reach T fall. Uh, it, it's a water boiler. Welcome. <laughs> Right, um, so I went to, uh, oh, and I don't have time to get a haircut, so sorry. I went to Costco, and on my way to Costco, I stopped at <coughs> a store that, a Jap I mean, I live in Japan, it's a Japanese store that sells, you know, porn, among other things. <laughs> I didn't go for the porn. They sell, you know, like video game systems and games and comic books and movies. But like I was looking around the video game section, it was like new games, retro games, porn, more retro games. More, huh? It's really weird. And it was like just one little corner of like, haha, we're going to put porn here too, just in case you missed it. Like, just in case you didn't want to go upstairs to the section with the curtain, we're just going to put some porn right here. And the little like, you know, you could pretend you're looking at video game section when you're seven years old, looking at the... Super Famicom games, you know, like, that wasn't me, that was, I was pretending to be a seven-year-old, because, you know, some seven-year-olds are, yeah. Anyway, I don't want to prove of putting porn next to the video games and, like, right out in the open, but this is Japan, so I'm going to show you the things that I bought at the store, no porn, and, uh, I don't know, I ended up spending a bit more than I should have, but isn't that always the case? Yes. <laughs> And uh, I'll just kind of go in whatever order it comes out. So here we have, for 1,000 yen plus tax, a pink Dreamcast Millennium 2000 controller. I need to organize and catalog and inventory or whatever my Dreamcast controllers. I like collecting them. I like the Dreamcast. I like it a lot. This one looks really clean. So fresh. So clean. However, I don't remember like what I have anymore. Wow, I need a haircut. Ja, 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 ja. I have to go to work in like an hour. Next. Oh, this was fun. Just whatever. So this is Eto. Doron Pachi Dai Fukatsu for the Xbox 360 Special Edition. I'm covering up the price. Version 1.5. And now I already I'm pretty sure I already have this because I basically have all the shooters for the Xbox 360. Uh, I want 
there's one that I want that I don't have. It's like a combo of games that I already have. It's just like at this point, since I have them all, 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 I even want the variations. So I'm getting an email from my wife. Uh, she wants to know what we should do for dinner. Well, I put the chicken in the freezer because I am in no mood to make chimichangas tonight because I'm tired. So let's just say that. Eto. Let's see, how does this go? Switch it to Japanese. Toriniku o reitoku ni iremashita no de nan demo ii desu. Yappari tsukareta kara gomen ne. Alright, and that's how it's done. So, anyway, this was only 1,900, so like less than $20. With tax even, uh, including taxes, still less than $20. And this has, I don't remember what's in it. I think it has like a steel book, maybe. I'm not going to open it because I can't be bothered right now. Look at me. Do I look like I can be bothered to open this? I haven't shaved for like a week. Shaven? Whatever. But they tried to charge me 2900 and something yen for this, and I noticed. And I was like, yo, yo, recharge me. So then we had to go through and undo the credit card thing and then redo it. It took like... More than five minutes, but less than 10, which is where we are in this video right now. So about this long. So always check your receipts. That's the moral of the story. But yeah, at the end of the day, I got this game for like 15 bucks. <laughs> so that was pretty cool because I, I think maybe they had mispriced it. I don't know. For 92 yen plus tax, I got a I think this is, yeah, Ma Ma hard plastic cover for a DSI LL. And I have a brown chocolate brown whatever it's called d-s-i-l-l -L, and i want to put this on it because i want to kind of make that one that i carry around with me because it's just it's brown like it's so cool that it's brown there need to be more brown consoles you know so yeah i thought that was neat and i bought it for me to play with next similar yet different this is for the new 3ds ll and i don't know why it was so cheap i feel like they mispriced it i'm not i'm not sure what's going no it says the normal price is 1080 but it was marked down to 40 i don't know why anywho it's it's a grip case whoop and it has the four buttons so they're like easier to reach than like this right uh but it, yeah like i said it was only like i think i said 480 yen so cool that's special both of those for five dollars we grand total of two well we're not even to thirty dollars yet Wah! i'm so broken I don't know why, and I, I may never even use this. Uh, I need to look into it some more, but I don't. I didn't have one of these. This is a backup RAM cartridge uh, to be used with the Sega CD or the Mega CD in this case, and it was like ten bucks, a little more than ten, like twelve, twelve dollars. Um, but it was, you know, there were two of them, and this is the one that wasn't faded. I think. I hope I picked the right one. Gosh, now I'm starting to doubt myself. Oh well, what's done is done. Yeah, so I have that now. Yay. Next. I'm not going to comment on this. I thought, well, I mean, I'm commenting now, but beyond whatever. Naru, my wife says, I see. Okay, so um, some people say this is like a different version. Of, I don't want to get it. I was going to look this stuff. Fuck it. Power Blazer for the Famicom. And I think that's a really good price for it, complete in box. I feel like I often see it like loose for the same price. And I like this uh, art. And also it's pink. Uh, and it is in a hard case, which is also a bonus. So I paid $23 for it, 2,580 yen plus tax. And it's a good game. I think the controls sometimes are a little bit kind of finicky, but generally speaking, it's a good game. It's a platformer, so yay. If you want to know more about it, like, please just look it up because I, do I look like I'm going to do the research? Nope. So here's another cheap 360 special edition game that I got, and uh, it's Death Smiles 2 Ekus, and this was like 15, but a little more than 15 dollars, and that's why I bought it. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I have this too, but I mean, when you sell me a special edition shoot 'em up for the 360, with it like it's a name, yeah, for 15 dollars, I'm not gonna say no. Like, if they had 10 of them, I probably would have bought, well, I wouldn't have bought them all. Maybe I would have bought the nicest three or four. But, you know, I mean, everybody's, I gotta have limits, right? It's just hard to figure out where they are sometimes. This is something for the 
Mega Drive, also known uh, as the Genesis. Control Pad, Mega Drive Senyo for the Mega Drive. It's the SG3500. Three button controller. What's cool about, like I have four or five of those, but it's in the box and I wanted the box and it's pretty cool that it's in the box and I haven't opened the box so I don't know if it has any kind of like a manual or whatever, but look at that box! It's a nice box. Next. Now, why do I always put my stuff down here? I should put it over here so I can be like, hey, look, I'm still talking to you while I'm reaching into the bag. <laughs> no, I'd rather you look at the side of my head. Um, I don't buy many Saturn games anymore because I have, like, a lot and I have most of the shoot 'em ups and that's what I really care about. And also Japan. Japanese. Reading Japanese. These are all things. And I forgot to turn the light on. Whatever. It's gonna be dark. For 2,980 yen, I get the King of Fairs 95 plus 96. So it's got the two games, and, not that I need it, the RAM cartridge in a big, oblong, weirdly shaped red box. Like, this is longer than a box needs to be for a video game. And it's not going to fit on my shelf quite right, but I'm just going to have to find a way to do it because I wanted it. And it wasn't cheap. Like I said, it was almost $30. But for some reason, I, like I've never, never, I don't feel like I see this very often. And I, it's not, I didn't have it and I, I ended up buying it. And what's interesting about this is when it was new, it was a, a hundred bucks, right? Well, 9,800 yen. So it's kind of cool to think of it that way when you buy it. But that one I was kind of like, oh, maybe I shouldn't, because I'm not like a huge King of Fighters fan. Plus I've got loads of them on the AES as well as the MVS. I bought it because I like these kind of like special boxes. I like special boxes. What can I say? Eh? What? <laughs> I moved the bag and I already forgot what I did. I'm a little frazzled. I don't know if you can tell. My mind is a little stressed out, a little bit frustrated with some people and feeling a bit misunderstood. That's actually why deep thoughts with, with soft Tuck. I went to um, Costco because I was like, I just need to get out. I just need some air. I've been in my house for days and days because it rained so much and there was just like nothing to do. My work kept getting canceled and like I don't work full time technically. So when my work get canceled, that's like money gone. And it was like a lot of money. So that sucked. And then when I finally did get to go to the work, get out of the house it was just to go to work and I was like I need to just go do something because then when I finally had a day off I was going to be taking care of our daughter and that's fine but you know sometimes a man just needs a little bit of pizza and hot dog and Mountain Dew and uh retro games so I feel like I already have this but I also felt like this was a lovely price so I bought it and this is Trials HD, Limbo, and Splowing Man for the Xbox 360 triple pack is 10 bucks. Right? 1080 M plus tax. Not even 10 bucks probably now with the exchange rate, but I don't mind having a double of this because like physical copies of Limbo or they please me. Next, so this I have this really I've spent a lot of time making a list of all the Sega Saturn shoot 'em ups that I need. And I was aware of the existence of this disc, but for whatever reason, it wasn't on my list. And so I could have like eventually made a video, look, I got all the Saturn, 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 Sega Saturn shoot 'em ups without this being on there. But I happened to stumble upon it and I uh, was like, yeah, I have to buy that. And I don't remember what the price was because it's not like on here anymore because I made it put it in a new plastic. It was like 20 bucks though. I think that's about right. This is... Uh, Sega Ages Memorial Selection Volume 2. And it has Monaco GP, Sinbad Mystery, what is all this stuff? Like Ninja Princess, that doesn't even make sense because a ninja that's female is a whatever. Anyway, what's Doki Doki Penguin Nando? Uh, this has Star Jacker, which is a uh, just a very okay shooting but it's definitely a vertical scrolling shooter and the thing is this is how it was displayed with the price tag and i was like well i don't ever see this and i just need it and you know i'm out today and i'm i'm basically retail therapying therapeutic uh, therapy what's the verb for therapy 
I don't know. Giving myself rich <laughs> retail therapy. Anyway, when they opened it up, da da da, we have a spine card! Yay! So I need to double check about Sega Ages Volume 1 and if there are others besides that. And if they have shoot 'em ups, because I'm obsessive compulsive when it comes to lots of things actually, but especially shoot 'em ups as far as video games are concerned. And I don't know, I kind of want to play Star Jacker now. Because. I'm going to jack some stars. You know what I mean? Like, who doesn't want to jack some stars on the Sega Saturn? What is this like? Which way? Which way? Which... I don't even... I don't know. I think we're almost done, actually. There's like two more things. Three, kind of. So, and then I'll put all this stuff away. All right. I'm trying to change it up a bit. This is... Wow, it's actually in pretty decent shape. Uh, I don't care, okay? I don't care. I don't care about Pokemon. However, I think the new uh, Detective Pikachu, is that what it's called? The amiibo for that, the huge Pikachu is pretty cool and I kind of want that. Also the new, the, the, not the, the mm, so I don't know anything about Pokemon, Pokemon, Boru, whatever, the, the ball, like the red and white new 2DS looks pretty cool with the fake button on it. I kind of want that. But anyway, this is just like, it's like an advertising thing. It's Japanese if you look closely, right? I thought this would be a neat thing to sort of have. I'm The thing is, if I liked Pokemon, Pokemon, whatever, like I would frame this and put it on, because it's such a cool thing. And these, they're going to go away. They're all going to get thrown away, and this will be special. I couldn't get it home in perfect condition because I didn't have any way to keep it. But, I mean, it's not too bad, you know. Um, on the back, it has some other stuff. And, like, if you're a Pokemon <laughs> fan, like, this is pretty cool, right? Uh, but I'm not. And so that's, that's my problem. I have all these, like, I have a couple... Pokemon <laughs> uh, special edition 3DS's and a 2DS or 2DS's I guess I don't even know I tried uh, I have yet to like really play one of the games I played Go for a couple hours and then I deleted it from my phone because it's monotonous and redundant and repetitive <laughs> so I got this this is my third one first time I saw this arcade stick for the Super Famicom slash Super Nintendo. I found it in Akihabara and it was like 30 bucks and it was rusty and it was loose and I was like, I need that in my life. Because it's hoary, 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 hoary. And it's got turbo switches for all the buttons plus slow motion, which I never use, and it's colorful and wanda ho. So, but this time it's in the box and I open it up and it's in like better condition than the other two that I have and it's not rusty and it was 10 bucks. So, Duh, right? So I bought that. And last, and certainly not least, because it was the most expensive thing, uh, I should pronounce my THs as F, like some of those lazy British people. It drives me nuts. What are you thinking? Right? You're just lazy, right? Anyway, this is the <laughs> Family Computer Nintendo Classic Mini. Uh, I'm trying to read it. Shonen Jump. Family Computer Jump is what it's apparently called. Nintendo Classic Mini Family Computer Jump. So it's gold, basically. It's gold, it has fewer games, worse games, and it costs more. <laughs> so, of course I bought it, right? Uh, and I'm going to do a separate video with like an unboxing of this because, you know, it's what you're supposed to do. But this um, box looks just like the comic, the big ass comic books they sell like weekly, right? Showing and jump, and so that's pretty cool. Like the box is cool, but like a lot of these games, not really. You know, some of them are pretty cool, but a lot of them are just not really. Um, and so I think I'm gonna maybe nothing. <laughs> if yeah. Anyway, so this is pretty cool and it's gold, but it's, it costs like $20, I think, more than the original Famicom Classic Mini. And that one has way better games than this does. It's wicked gold. So, I mean, if you don't watch my unboxing video, I totally understand. I'll show you this. Like, it's the controllers are the same, but it's got that. Where is my finger? I have no idea. This is really hard. That little mark on it. And it looks pretty cool. Uh, and then there's the box. So.
How about it? Yay. Thank you for watching. I want to keep this around 20 minutes, so I'm going to cut it here. Uh, I think I showed you everything. So, yeah, I'm going to drink some chew high and I don't know. I want to take a nap, but I probably won't. Love you, bye. Thanks for watching.